The Cosby Show stands out as a groundbreaking sitcom that graced the airwaves from 1984 to 1992. It is notably recognized for not only rescuing NBC from a precarious position, but also for revitalizing the conventional sitcom format. During its inception, action-packed shows like The A-Team dominated the television landscape. However, the advent of the Cosbys sparked a paradigm shift, prompting other networks to take notice and venture into similar productions. At its core, the Cosby Show portrayed the life of a wealthy African-American family. It distinguished itself from earlier depictions of affluent black families by presenting a genuine nuclear family rather than relying on the fish-out-of-water trope. Analyzing the social impact of The Cosby Show could fill entire lectures, yet at its essence, people found it genuinely hilarious. The show was led by a renowned cast that left an indelible mark on the sitcom genre. While delving into a discourse on the current whereabouts of that cast could make for an intriguing lecture, let's take a journey back to Brooklyn to catch up with The Cosbys discovering what each member, including the youngsters, is currently engaged in provides insight into their personal and professional lives. How closely do they hold on to the series that undeniably influenced television and pop culture, leaving a lasting legacy to this day? Now, let's catch up with our favorite actors and see how life's treating them after the show wrapped up. 1. Kesha Knight Pulliam as Rudy Huxtable. Rudy, the youngest member of the family, transitioned from a precocious five-year-old to a quintessential free-thinking teenager over the course of the show, yearning for the independence of adult life. Originally envisioned as a boy, Jaleel White, known for his role in Family Matters, was the initial top choice for the role. However, once auditions opened to girls, Kashia Knight Pulliam impressed the show's producers and secured the part. Pulliam embarked on her acting journey in 1984, marking a robust beginning with The Cosby Show cast. Post The Cosby Show era, Pulliam continued to thrive in the entertainment industry, gracing television commercials and TV shows. Her feature film debut came in 1985 with The Last Dragon. She diversified her portfolio by participating in various game shows, winning a celebrity version of Fear Factor in 2002, and triumphing in a celebrity edition of The Weakest Link. Pulliam also engaged in Celebrity Mole, Yucatan. In 2008, she became a part of Tyler Perry's House of Pain cast, contributing to the show's success for over 15 years. At the age of 44, she holds the 27th position in VH1's compilation of the 100 Greatest Kid Stars. Her current attention is probably directed towards marital bliss, having recently exchanged vows with actor Brawl James in 2021. 2. Sabrina Le Biouf as Sandra Huxtable Tibideu. Sabrina Le Biouf is portrayal of Sandra depicted a well-educated and responsible character. Sandra's character on the show was known for being an overachiever, attending Princeton University. She was the firstborn child of the Huxtable family and often served as a voice of reason and guidance for her younger siblings. Sabrina entered the world on March 21, 1958, in New Orleans, Louisiana. Eager to escape the rigidly segregated life of 1950s Louisiana, her family relocated to Los Angeles, California shortly after her birth. Following her parents' divorce, Sabrina resided with her grandmother, C. Ethel Holmes, in south-central L.A. until her mother's remarriage. At the age of 10, she returned to live with her mother and stepfather in Inglewood, California. While showcasing her talent at the Folger Theater in Washington, LaBeouf encountered businessman and producer Michael Reynolds in 1987. Their marriage unfolded less than a month later, and they established their home in New York. Their marital journey lasted for more than a decade, concluding with a mutual decision to file for divorce in 1997, as described by LaBeouf. 3. Malcolm Jamal Warner as Theo Huxtable. 
The endearing Theodore, commonly known as Theo Huxtable, plays Cosby's on-screen son, drawing inspiration from Cosby's real-life son, Ennis. Malcolm Jamal Warner initiated his acting career in 1982, gaining prominence with his breakthrough performance in The Cosby Show a few years later. In the 90s, he secured another noteworthy role as Malcolm McGee in the show Malcolm and Eddie, while also lending his voice to the character of the producer in The Magic School Bus. Moving into the 2000s, he took on a co-starring role in BET's scripted comedic TV series, Read Between the Lines. Additionally, he portrayed Al Cowlings in the 2016 crime series, American Crime Story, centered around the events of the O.J. Simpson trial. His most recent endeavor involved concluding his role in the 2021 show, The Resident. At the age of 53, he maintains a relatively low profile, relishing family life. Although he is happily married with a child, specific details, including names, remain guarded, emphasizing the significance of privacy in his personal life. 4. Tempest Bledsoe as Vanessa Huxtable Bledsoe stepped into The Cosby Show at the tender age of 11, portraying Vanessa Huxtable, the second youngest in The Cosby family. Vanessa, generally a commendable daughter, occasionally sparred with Rudy, but left her parents with minimal concerns. Tempest Bledsoe embarked on her acting journey in 1984, securing her initial major role as Vanessa Huxtable in The Cosby Show's cast. She maintained a regular presence on the show until its conclusion in 1992. Post-Cosby, Tempest ventured into hosting her own daytime talk show, titled The Tempest Bledsoe Show, produced by Columbia TriStar Television and Dick Clark. Her most recent appearance dates back to 2019, featuring in an episode of Family Reunion. At the age of 48, she has been leading a more subdued life. In matters of the heart, she has maintained a long-standing relationship with actor Daryl M. Bell since 1993. 5. Bill Cosby as Dr. Heathcliff Cliff Huxtable Cliff Huxtable's character was initially conceived as a limo driver but eventually pivoted to a career as a doctor. Despite the occupational shift, he was unequivocally perceived by viewers as a father figure, becoming America's dad and claiming the top spot in popularity for a significant period. Bill Cosby's extensive and varied career commenced in 1965, skyrocketing to prominence with a recurring role in the 60s show I Spy. A little over a decade later, Cosby secured his own show, The Bill Cosby Show. He also played a notable part in The Electric Company, featuring in a total of 260 episodes. Before The Cosby Show, Cosby had already led another classic television show, Fat Albert, later remade with SNL star Keenan Thompson as Albert, with Cosby making a cameo in the remake. Cosby's final acting credit came in 2004's Fat Albert, but retirement wasn't in the cards. Instead, he became entangled in a slew of sexual assault lawsuits, culminating in a prison sentence. The highly publicized legal battle involved accusations spanning back to the 60s. Cosby served three years in prison until the Supreme Court overturned his conviction, citing violations of due process rights. Presently, there are still two ongoing legal cases. 6. Felicia Rashad as Claire Huxtable Claire Huxtable serves as the spouse of Cliff Huxtable and the mother to their five children. Juggling a career as a lawyer, she emphasizes the significance of balancing a thriving professional life with a robust household, setting an exemplary leadership standard. Undoubtedly, her most recognized and possibly breakthrough role unfolded on The Cosby Show. She made subsequent appearances on the show a few years later. However, her professional journey spans several years. Enthusiasts of Disney World might identify her presence on the ride Countdown to Extinction, later rebranded as Dinosaur. Venturing into voice acting, 
she lent her voice to the animated children's show Little Bill as Brenda Glover, a nostalgic memory for your kids and grandkids. Additionally, she contributed her voice to The Cleveland Show, a spinoff of Family Guy. In the latter part of the 2000s, she portrayed another influential character, Mary Ann Creed, in the Creed film series. Remaining as active as ever, her most recent endeavors include a recurring role in the acclaimed show Empire until 2018 and NBC's drama series This Is Us from 2019 to 2021. 7. Lisa Bonet as Denise Huxtable Denise Huxtable, recognized for her distinctive wardrobe and carefree, rebellious spirit, closely mirrored the real-life persona of Lisa Bonet. Lisa commenced her acting journey in 1983, frequently participating in beauty pageants and making guest appearances on television series during her childhood before securing her role in The Cosby Show. In 1987, she briefly departed the show to lead in the spin-off series, A Different World, shedding light on Denise's college experiences. Amidst her endeavors, she featured in the film Angel Heart, alongside Mickey Rourke. A scene containing explicit moments between them necessitated edits to secure an R rating. This was followed by a provocative topless photo shoot in Interview Magazine. Lisa actively sought to transcend the wholesome child archetype and ultimately succeeded. Upon her return to the Cosby Show cast, she faced dismissal in 1991, citing creative differences. Post her departure, she predominantly appeared in made-for-TV movies. In recent times, she secured recurring roles in series like The Red Road from 2013 to 2015 and Ray Donovan in 2016, marking her most recent contribution. 8. eight. Jeffrey Owens as Elvin Tibidio. Elvin is depicted as a kind and well-meaning character who often finds himself in humorous situations, especially when interacting with the Huxtable family. His character contributes to the show's exploration of family dynamics, relationships, and the comedic challenges that arise in everyday life. Owens was born in Brooklyn, New York, to Ethel, a teacher of music and literature, and Major Owens, a librarian who later served in the New York State Senate and the United States House of Representatives. He has two brothers and two half-siblings from his father's second marriage. Owens attended the High School of Performing Arts for a year and graduated cum laude from Yale University in 1983. Owens is the founder and artistic director of the Brooklyn Shakespeare Company. He has taught acting and Shakespeare at Columbia University, Yale, the Adult School of Montclair, and Pace University. In addition to establishing his private Shakespeare workshop, he has been a guest instructor at universities, theaters, studios, and middle and high schools in the New York metropolitan area. He has also served as an adjudicator for the National Shakespeare Competition semifinals at Lincoln Center for at least 25 years. In 1995, Owens wed his wife, Josette. Together, they have one son. 9. Raven Simone as Olivia Kendall Raven Simone secured her role as Olivia in the Cosby Show cast when she was just a few years old. She had auditioned for a part in the Bill Cosby movie Ghost Dad, and at only three years old, she was deemed too young at the time. However, Cosby admired her so much that he found a role for her on his show. She served as the adorable toddler replacement when Rudy outgrew the role. Kids grow up at the fastest rates. A year after Cosby concluded, she landed her first film role in The Little Rascals as Stymie's girlfriend. Subsequently, she starred alongside the renowned comedian and actor Eddie Murphy in Dr. Dolittle. All this happened before officially becoming a certified Disney Channel star with her sitcom, That's So Raven. She achieved significant success on Disney, earning roles in original movies like The Cheetah Girls. In 2020, she even released a song titled Space Truck under the name Raven, which is part of her upcoming EP. 
At 38 years old, she tied the knot with social media manager Miranda Madej and remains focused on her singing career. 10. Joseph C. Phillips as Lieutenant Martin Kendall Martin Kendall was introduced in the context of Denise's life and college experiences. He was a student at Hillman College where Denise attended. Martin was depicted as an intelligent and responsible young man. His character was well received by the audience and played a role in various storylines, particularly those involving Denise and her transition to adulthood. After completing the professional theater training program at New York University, Phillips graced the stage in theatrical productions at the Manhattan Bridge Company, Philadelphia Festival Theater for New Plays, Repertory Theater of St. Louis, and took on a leading role in the premiere of Toni Morrison's Dreaming Emmett at Capitol Repertory Theater in 1986. The passing of Joseph Phillips's mother occurred during his youth, leading him to form a close bond with the mother of Dwayne Evans, his cousin. Phillips hails from Colorado, and he, along with his wife, Nicole, is a proud parent to three sons, Connor, Ellis, and Samuel. In 2006, Phillips authored an autobiography titled He Talk Like a White Boy, featuring a foreword by Tavis Smiley. 11. Earl Hyman as Russell Huxtable While Earl Hyman is most famously recognized for his portrayal of the affectionate grandfather Russell Huxtable on The Cosby Show, his extensive and diverse career predates his role as the sitcom father of an actor, just 11 years his junior. Hyman enjoyed a 46-year career on Broadway, earning a Tony nomination in 1980 for his performance in Edward Albee's The Lady from Dubuque via IMDb. Several of his stage performances are accessible on video, showcasing his compelling roles in the Old Globe Theater's 1986 rendition of Richard II, as Cicero in 1979's Julius Caesar, and the 1979 production of Coriolanus, where Morgan Freeman starred in the titular role. Beyond breathing life into Shakespearean characters on stage and playing Othello on numerous occasions, Hyman took on the role of the ill-fated Scottish king Macbeth in the 1968 television adaptation. In 1982, he secured the part of retired actor James Tyrone in Eugene O'Neill's A Long Day's Journey into the Night, co-starring with actor, playwright, and civil rights activist Ruby Dee. Hyman portrayed the warm and endearing Grandpa Huxtable on The Cosby Show from 1984 to 1992, earning an Emmy for his performance in the show's acclaimed episode, Happy Anniversary. The native of North Carolina passed away at the age of 91, residing in Inglewood, New Jersey, in 2017. 12. Michelle Thomas as Justine Phillips Audiences will recall Michelle Thomas not only for her recurring role as Theo's long-term girlfriend, Justine Phillips, on The Cosby Show, but for her extensive tenure as Myra Monkhouse on the ABC and later CBS sitcom blockbuster, Family Matters. In the role of Monkhouse, Thomas portrayed the girlfriend of the show's endearing yet quirky nerd, Steve Urkel, Jaleel White, who quickly became infatuated with her. Her exaggerated affection for Stevie Kins and her irrational envy of Urkel's enduring crush, Laura Winslow, Kelly Shanine Williams, aimed to give the Did I Do That? anti-hero a taste of Laura's experiences. White and Thomas developed a close friendship off-screen, and he attributes her assistance in helping him navigate fame and relationships. Following the triumph of Family Matters, Thomas took on the character of Callie Rogers Stark on the CBS soap opera, The Young and the Restless, for 55 episodes. Regrettably, about a year and a half after being diagnosed with stomach cancer, the 31-year-old Boston native passed away on December 22, 1998. Actor Jaleel White fondly recalled and shared memories of his close friend and co-star in 2017 during an episode of Hollywood Medium. 13. Ethel Ayler as Carrie Hanks Actor Ethel Ayler appeared alongside Hyman on The Cosby Show as Carrie Hanks, the mother of family matriarch Claire Huxtable. Through her portrayal, 
fans immediately grasped the source of Claire's wisdom and straightforwardness. Similar to Hyman, the Alabama native, featured in six episodes of the show, also initiated her career on the stage. In the 1960s, she starred alongside notable figures like Maya Angelou, James Earl Jones, and Cicely Tyson in the enduring play, The Blacks, A Clown Show, according to IMDb. Ayler's extensive career spanned five decades and encompassed notable film roles in Cassie Lemon's acclaimed Eve's Bayou, alongside Samuel L. Jackson, and the character of Emma in the 1992 blockbuster, The Bodyguard. Before her recurring role on The Cosby Show, Ayler delivered memorable performances on various shows including Martin, Friends, Six Feet Under, and Seventh Heaven. The beloved star passed away at the age of 88 in 2018 in Loma Linda, California. 14. Erica Alexander as Pam Tucker Erica Alexander portrayed Pam Tucker in the sitcom. Alexander hails from Winslow, Arizona, and spent her formative years in Flagstaff, Arizona until the age of 11, at which point her family relocated to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. She is one of six siblings born to Robert and Sammy Alexander, an educator and author of children's books. Alexander completed her education at Philadelphia High School for Girls. In 2012, she collaborated on the creation and writing of Concrete Park, a science fiction graphic novel, alongside then-husband Tony Perrier. In 2018, she contributed to season 11 of the Buffy the Vampire Slayer comic Giles, working with Buffy creator Joss Whedon. Her creative prowess extended to the 2023 DuPont Columbia award-winning Audible True Crime series, Finding Tamika. In 1997, Alexander entered matrimony with artist-screenwriter Tony Purier, though their paths diverged in 2017. She actively supported Hillary Clinton, engaging in campus tours with Chelsea Clinton during the 2008 Democratic Party primary. As a co-founder of Color Farm Media, an entertainment, innovation, and social impact company, Alexander has made significant contributions. Color Farm Media earned acclaim in 2020 for the release of the documentary John Lewis. Good Trouble, a poignant exploration of civil rights leader John Lewis. If you enjoyed this trip down memory lane, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and ring that notification bell to stay updated on all things nostalgia. And who knows, maybe there's a reunion or a new project in the works for these incredible actors. As we conclude, let's take a moment to appreciate the timeless magic of The Cosby Show and the enduring legacy of its phenomenal cast. From all of us here, thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more unforgettable journeys through the world of classic television. Until next time, take care, stay nostalgic, and keep the spirit of The Cosby Show alive in your hearts. Goodbye.